Hello, today we will be drawing a flying squirrel. So I'm gonna walk you through that. But first I'm gonna show you a nice time lapse of beginning to ending. Remembering that no two squirrels are the same, so no two drawings will be the same. Yours will look different from mine and might even come out better. And that's your choice. You get to do what you want, add details as you go and find your happy place. Make happy mistakes, that's good too. So when we get started, We're gonna draw an oval for his body, kind of give him a spine line. Starting off with your forearms at the front, remember to do front and back of the forearms so that you are not making stick figures. After we do that, um, you'll notice you can use any kind of pencils you want. You could even use a number 2B. Uh, remember that the hind legs are gonna be a little bit thicker than the forearms because they have a little bit more muscle in them. Add that tail, nice fluffy, nice furry tail. And now we're gonna add the patagium, which some people might call or think are wings, but they're actually not. It's skin with hair, fur on it. You can always erase that line that you made for the spine. Make it nice and thin so that you can still see it. Just make it really light. With the head, you're gonna to wanna to make that nice oval and give him some whiskers, an eyeball, and a couple of ears, one on each side. <clears throat> Remember to draw the fur just like it grows from the skin out in the same direction that it flows. You kind of, if you're blending, you don't have to necessarily worry about it too much, but I like to draw it the way that it would tend to grow. I'm going to go back over each spot that I want to darken multiple times, and um, that will help to add some of that shading, give you, keep him from looking flat. So maybe give him a little dimension. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit more as I try to add some fur because that'll take a little bit of time. Um, I add it around the ed edges. I go back and I keep going back over those and that'll darken it a little bit. I also add a little patagium behind his hind legs that connect under so that you can kind of see where it will connect and I'll end up doing that on both sides. And I just keep drawing and um, adding more fur. There are ways to blend your color, different ways. A lot of artists use different things. You can blend with a blending stump, a paper towel, or whatever you so choose. I hope you enjoy drawing your squirrel. Have a great day.